Well, all right, guys. Hey, good morning. It is, man, I think it's 5.30. It's, yeah, it's 5.47. And my cook had a good cook. You know, so I had put these on about 9 o'clock. So it's, what is it, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's been, it's been about eight hours, about eight and a half hours. You know, I did get up about, let me see, about 3 o'clock. And I did some rotation uh, with my briskets. So we're gonna go ahead and check and see what they what they're looking like. Uh, so they are looking pretty good. You know, pretty much had to even cook throughout the night. You know, so I did rotate this third one uh, that was on the uh, top, and then the bottom, the one that was on the bottom, rotated to the top. Okay, let's do a quick looky. Man, those look pretty good. The top one looks good. The meter block, the meter block, or the meter probes did an awesome job, you know. I usually keep it right, I usually keep it right there on my, my door at the moment, right on the, right on the door to get the best signal. Man, look at all that good juice. Salt and pepper, let's, let's keep it simple. You know, and I cook everything in pans, guys. I've been seeing some, you know, some YouTube videos about people doing what they call a brisket, Foil bolt, come on, man. That's that's nothing new. Just put it in the pan. It does the same thing, and put uh, it's just less effort. Wrap your brisket up, butcher paper, put it in the pan. Uh, it, sometimes that tickles me. Sometimes, okay. Uh, this one needs to go a little bit darker, so I'll probably rotate this to the top and go ahead and wrap the top one and the bottom one in aluminum foil. You know, yeah, it needs to get a little tad darker, so we'll rotate that one up too. Oh yeah, fabulous juice. You know, guys. You know, I don't, I don't uh, spray. Um, I don't do anything to these brisket, but put it salt and pepper, and leave it alone. You know, fantastic. All right, we're gonna look at the firebox in just a minute, but this is a big one too. This one plumped up pretty good, so it's been. Uh, it's been about eight, eight and a half hour cook. You know, cook a dry pit, no bricks, no nothing else, no water. Just let it go. Yeah, I need to go ahead and rotate this one up. I think this one's sitting at uh, one, 148, 149, no, 150, 154, yeah. Okay. Nice color. You see how moist it is on top? That's because when you cook it in pan, the uh, the moisture from the pan actually keeps the brisket moist. Okay, let's look at the top. I mean, let's look at the uh, firebox. Missy. Yep, still got a lot more fuel left. Okay, all the way in the back to the front. Let's turn it off. Let's let's turn off the light. Wrong thing. Go back. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, a lot of fuel left. I still got some chunk woods right there. Okay, love the color. Yep, I'm not gonna shake it. I'll just shake it up just a little bit. Drop some of the some of the uh, ash off there. But there you have it. The metal box is very efficient. Okay, well, let's go ahead and wrap these things up. We're gonna wrap up this bottom one. Sitting at 170, I think it was. And this one's sitting at 172. All right, that's a wrap. All right, guys, hey, we'll talk to you later. Uh, God bless y'all, and uh, I'll bring you back on my next cook, which is probably going to be uh, on my, uh, my vote. Hey, good morning, Miss Dana. How you doing? Oh yeah, I forget. Yeah, it's my birthday. I don't hit the big five oh. <laughs> All right, God bless y'all. Hey, we'll talk to you later.